Hi, I'm Jesse Garrison. I'm here to introduce you to the video capabilities in Canon SLRs. In recent years, Canon EOS cameras have revolutionized movie making with their ability to shoot stunning HD video. To shoot video, just switch to movie mode and turn your still camera into a motion picture camera. Then hit the record button and start capturing beautiful videos. The controls to enable video recording may vary from camera to camera, so make sure to check the manual to find out where they're located. Just like taking still photos, you can use any Canon lens on your EOS camera to shoot video. This gives you the ability to choose the best option to fit your needs. For example, video journalists might use a zoom lens to adapt to changing environments, while cinematographers might choose a prime lens to achieve the perfect image they have in mind. Any Canon lens in movie mode will deliver the same field of view it does when shooting still images. Meaning, what you see when shooting a still image will be the same as when you shoot video. Hence, same field of view. Let's take a quick look at the process the camera goes through to shoot video. SLR cameras have a mirror directly behind the lens that allows you to see, in the viewfinder, the same image that comes through the lens. When taking a still photo, as you release the shutter, the camera lifts up the mirror to let light through straight to the sensor. The mirror then immediately returns to its starting position after the shot is taken. In fact, you can notice this action when looking in the viewfinder. As you fire the shutter, you'll see it momentarily go dark as the mirror is moved. When shooting video, however, the mirror needs to be raised at all times to let light continuously hit the sensor. Therefore, viewing for video is always performed in the camera's LCD monitor, not in the viewfinder. Exposure controls use the same terms and settings as with still images. The same shutter speeds, lens apertures, and ISO settings are used for video recording. In some of the most recent EOS cameras, autofocus is available while shooting video, but due to the nature of the autofocus process, it's usually recommended to use it to pre-focus only before you actually start recording. When shooting video, you can choose between different resolutions, or number of pixels. The higher the resolution, the more detail you will be able to capture in your video, and the larger the file sizes will tend to be. Nearly all EOS cameras with video capability can shoot at full HD, which is 1920 by 1080 pixels, HD, which is 1280 by 720 pixels, or standard definition at 640 by 480 pixels. When recording a movie, your camera actually records many images in order, one after another at a high speed. When you play back this image sequence, you see it as a movie. The frequency at which the camera takes this sequence of images is called the frame rate, and it's usually measured in number of frames per second. Most EOS HDSLRs can record video at 24, 30, and sometimes 60 frames per second. In the camera's setup menu, there's usually a setting for video system, or similar wording. This sets the camera for either the North American video standard, called NTSC, or the video standard used in much of Asia, Africa, and Europe, called PAL. In the PAL system, the available frame rates change to 25 and 50 frames per second. Select the system for the region where you primarily intend to play back your video files. You can choose your frame rate based on your shooting circumstances and desired look. For example, you could choose a higher frame rate, such as 50 or 60 frames per second, for smooth recording of fast motion, or a lower frame rate, such as 24 or 25 frames per second for a more filmic look. Many of the controls and operations you're familiar with for taking still images are also available to you while shooting video. For example, you can set video exposure as fully automatic, or if you prefer, most EOS cameras will let you set exposure manually, just like when you take still photos. Exposure compensation, white balance control, picture style commands, and many other still image controls also remain operational during video recording. The video files are recorded as .mov files using H.264 compression. They're saved on the same memory card used to hold still image files. Once you're finished shooting, you can transfer your video files to your computer the same way you would with still photos. Canon also includes a simple and intuitive video editing program, Movie Edit Task, within the Canon Image Browser software. Thanks for watching. Be sure to watch our other videos for more great information.